It's very rare for breast milk to actually go bad. Your breast milk has gone bad when it is sour or rancid, much like how cow's milk would taste if it's also gone bad. Now, there are many factors that can change the flavor of your breast milk and how it tastes leads to the root of why it tastes that way. If it's truly sour or rancid, you would want to throw that out and not feed it to your baby. But if it tastes soapy, metallic, or a little off, we can sometimes figure out why and make changes. In this video, we're going to be talking about the different reasons why your breast milk may not taste optimal and how to help fix it. The number one is to determine, is it from your storage containers? Are you adequately washing your bottles and pump parts when expressing your milk? Have you put it into a container that may be exposed to other flavors, such as your fridge? Is there something in your refrigerator that's being absorbed by your milk in the storage and handling that's making it taste off? You always wanna make sure when storing your milk in the fridge or freezer that you're using an airtight container and storing it at the back of the fridge or freezer where the temperature is the coldest. Make sure that you're adequately washing your pump parts with hot soapy water and getting rid of any milk film that's coming in contact with those bottles. If your breast milk tastes or smells soapy, it might be from high lipase. Lipase is an enzyme that helps break down fat. When you're directly feeding your breast milk from breast to baby, this enzyme helps break down fat in your baby's digestive system. When you express your breast milk and then it sits in the fridge or freezer, this enzyme is a live living enzyme that's actively breaking down the fat in your milk. This is what can lead it to taste soapy. Everyone's lip base is in different levels. There are different amounts for different people, and that breakdown is individually dependent. So when we say someone has high lip base, it means that enzyme is a lot in the milk and it's actively breaking down that milk, giving it that taste. This milk is safe to feed to your baby, but some babies may not like it and may reject it. You will need to determine how fast does that milk break down and how long can you store it in either fridge or freezer before that lip base changes the flavor enough that your baby rejects it. Some people find this process can be as soon as a day or it might be a couple days or a couple weeks. Make sure that you're testing your breast milk before freezing large batches to make sure your baby will take that milk. There are several strategies that can help if you suspect that you have high lip base and your baby is refusing your milk. The first would be try to feed as fresh as possible. Figure out where your line is for where your milk is starting to taste soapy and try to feed baby that milk before you hit that line. Some people can also mix freshly pumped milk with prior frozen milk to help reduce the flavor. Some babies will take it that way. Before freezing it, you can also scald the milk to reduce the enzyme from breaking down the fat with time. To scald your milk, you're putting your milk in a pot on the stove and bringing the temperature up to 180 degrees or until you see little bubbles around the edge. This is not a rolling boil of the milk, it's just until you see those little bubbles, turning it off and letting it cool and then storing it. Some people also find with older babies, four or five months and older, if you add one drop of alcohol-free vanilla to the milk, some babies will not notice because the flavor has been masked. You would always wanna ask a pediatrician before doing this, and this would not be recommended for younger babies. If your breast milk tastes metallic or fishy, it could be from oxidation of your breast milk and not from high lipase. This can be from your water or from taking supplements like fish oil or flaxseed supplements. It can also be from foods you're eating in your diet. Nancy Moorbacher recommends that you reduce polyunsaturated fats from your diet, consider drinking bottled water to reduce the metals or minerals in your water that are causing that metallic taste, avoiding fish oil or flaxseed supplements, and increasing your antioxidant intake especially with beta carotene and vitamin E. So you're looking for antioxidants like berries, seeds, nuts, and whole foods to help reduce that oxidation in your milk. If your baby is rejecting your previously frozen milk because of those fish oil supplements, or again, the water or the diet, you can mix that frozen milk with fresh milk to see if by cutting the flavor, your baby will then accept it. 
You could also try adding one drop of alcohol-free vanilla to mask that flavor for older babies. Some babies are also okay taking this breast milk. If they completely refuse, you could also try using that milk to make your pureed foods or adding it into baby oats or other recipes to see if they will take it. What you eat and drink can also change the flavor and the color of your breast milk. Usually, if you're eating the foods that you normally typically eat, your baby shouldn't have a problem with what you're consuming. If you do happen to start taking an herb or a supplement, go on a medication, get pregnant again, or start your period, these changes in flavor of milk can sometimes upset a baby. If you notice that your baby is all of a sudden fussy at the breast, having a nursing strike, or refusing bottles, try to figure out if there was some kind of change in your intake, either with herbs and supplements, medications, or periods. This can help you figure out why your baby might be having an issue, and you can decide what you need to do to intervene, whether it's stopping taking an herb or a supplement, adding in some kind of herb or supplement during your period, which I have a video on that as well, or if it's on a medication, deciding whether it was short term from something like say a 10 day course of an antibiotic, or if it's a more long term medication that you're taking, there might be a different way to take that medication to help improve the flavor for your baby to be able to take that milk. Again, it's very rare for your breast milk to actually go bad. If you're having a difficult time figuring out why your baby won't take your breast milk, please reach out to an IBCLC lactation consultant or consider scheduling a virtual appointment with me to help you figure it out. Now you know.